Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today on Technically Speaking, we're going to be installing the Racepack IQ3 Logger Dash. Now to do that, we're going to be using our Nissan Skyline. Uh, this car is equipped with a Platinum Pro plug-in ECU, so let's go get to it. Now when you receive your Racepack IQ3 Logger Dash, what you receive in the package is the Racepack manual, a Hartec specific quick start guide, wiring loom, SD card, VNet connection cable, GPS antenna, Hartec CAN connection connector, and two steering wheel or dash buttons, USB to serial adapter, and of course a communications connector for the USB to serial adapter to talk to the raceback dash. Software CD, mounting hardware, of course the dash itself, and the most important part, a couple of Haltech stickers. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to terminate the Haltech CAN connector as per the wiring diagram enclosed in the instruction manual. Now I've already done that, so I'm ready to plug that into the back of my Haltech ECU into the CAN connection. Now all Haltech ECUs, that's the Platinum Sprint 500, the Platinum Sport range and the Platinum Pro range all contain the same CAN connector at the back and they all will communicate with this dash. The other end of our VNet cable plugs directly into the back of the race pack dash. In the race pack kit, when you get it, there is an additional auxiliary harness and two buttons. Uh, they can be wired up to scroll through screens, um, to reconfigure the dash. There is also an additional wire that can be used for an additional output, say a, a shift light or a warning light, something of that nature. That plugs into the back of the dash. Now that we've plugged both ends of our VNet cable in, simply turn the ignition on, Raceback dash powers up from the Haltech, and we get our Haltech readings. Turn the key. We see RPM, road speed, F fuel ratio, boost, whatever settings that we have in the dash are displayed. Using the auxiliary connector and the supplied buttons, you can change what the display looks like, the backlighting, tack pulses, all sorts of things. For more information on what you can do, you can find it on the CD or in the manual that comes with the package. Now the last thing left to do is install the GPS antenna. This plugs directly into the back of the race pack dash and the antenna itself will mount on the roof of the vehicle in the center. The magnetic base makes it very easy to install. The best place to mount the GPS antenna is in the center of the vehicle at its highest point. So above the windscreen, right in the middle of the car. That's all we have time for on Technically Speaking this time around. I'm Matt from Haltech, I'll see you next time.